But I don't know if at home where you're watching on YouTube or ESPN Plus, or I think we're still on TikTok Live. I don't know how long that app. Yeah, not for we long. Don't know. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Careful, China. Hey, smart people, figure, figure it out. out. But there is an extra heightened sense of fantastic in the building. There is a heightened sense of greatness in the building. There is a long walk from the place <laughs> in which this person is hanging out. Because I do believe a man who's going to be remembered. Okay, we're nowhere near that. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're in another building. Oh. Oh, gotcha. I could still feel it though. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I could feel the mana radiating. All right. I could feel the ones going to the sky relatively right. soon to acknowledge him. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the road to WrestleMania. And in about two weeks' time, the, the eyes of the world will be cast upon Philadelphia for WrestleMania 40. Woo. Yeah. Now, Exhale. WrestleMania 40 is being heralded as the biggest WrestleMania in the history of WrestleMania, and that's for good reason. Night one. Biggest tag team match in the history of WWE. Night two, a man who comes from a wrestling family who is beloved by all wrestling fans has an opportunity to maybe finish his story. Oh. The reason why it is being heralded as the biggest WrestleMania of all time is because on both nights, you're going to be able to see a man who is a one of one, right. a man who has a Hall of Famer next to him every single time you see him, a man who has put on and put over his entire family. A man who is still 30 to 45 seconds away. Okay. A man who will never be duplicated, never be replicated. Right. A man who is the main event on both nights of the biggest WrestleMania of all time. The longest reigning, undisputed WWE Universal Champion of all time. Right. Our tribal chief. The Big Ooze. The man who has put WWE on his back for the last four years. Damn. He's beat leukemia. What? He's beat all of your favorites. What? The man can't be pinned because his shoulders don't know what the mat's supposed to feel like. Yeah. He's taller than you. What? He's more powerful than you. What? His hair's better than you. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Reigns! <laughs> Flanked by WWE security, who is a badass. Get your ones up. Get your ones up. Get, them up. get your get your fucking ones up. Acknowledge this man. Acknowledge him. He's your tribal chief. Yup. Yup. Get your ones up. Yup. Fucking ones up. Yup. Roman, wow. the reason why you are our tribal chief, the reason why you are 
the man who put the WWE on your back for like the last decade and a half, it feels like, what? is because you fly through a blizzard to Iowa City on the eve of Caitlin Clark's historic run that's about to begin and give these people not what they deserve, but what they need, which is a look at greatness. Thank you, Tribal yeah. Chief. Right, anywhere, yep. Your tribal chief loves you. <laughs> okay. That's very kind of you. And before we go any further, um, Iowa City, acknowledge him. Yeah! A lot of ones to the sky here in uh, Iowa. And I'm going to be honest, we thought there was no chance you were going to continue to come whenever we landed and found out a blizzard was coming. So you, battling through adversity to talk to the people that need to hear from you, is another display of greatness. But There's let me say this Rhodes. from my heart. There's a couple Cody Rhodes fans in here. Yeah, okay? right. Cry babies. They've been crying all yeah, morning. Uh -huh. They've been crying all morning. Sobbing. They've been crying all morning. The buzz about this WrestleMania is bigger than it's been forever, maybe. You're the main event of both nights. I think that's the reason why. But on the second night, you got Cody Rhodes. What are your thoughts on the whole Cody Crybaby situation with The Rock and his fans? And what are your thoughts on Cody's story only being finished by beating you? He's going to smash him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I, I, think, um, I think everybody's story revolves around me. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's just one of many that's just trying to tie this thing up. But at the end of the day, he's just a chapter in the big book. You know what I mean? This thing's been started since August of 2020. Since I came back and I told the whole world that I was the head of the table. <gasps> and I was the head of the greatest wrestling dynasty to ever exist. <gasps> on Hawaii Fatu dynasty. Um, big ooze. And that's the thing is it, we've done so much great things that we've made this place. It, it, it's like there's a magnetism. We, we pulled you in. You're like, man, God, man, the bloodline's doing all kinds of things. Let's go. Let's go do that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's be a part of that. Same thing with Cody. He was I was trying to be a news. Cody, yeah. Cody was yeah. off doing who cares, a whole lot of nothing. He saw what we were doing in WWE and he wanted to be a part of that. Hollywood, Dwayne saw what we were doing. I'm the only guy that didn't have to go to Hollywood. Hollywood came to me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 That's yeah. 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 Hey, if, if y'all feel truth, just put the one up, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. I'm going to spit a lot of that. Okay, a lot of amen, amen. A lot of this. Yeah. Instead of this, let's just put the ones up to the sky. We don't need amen. It's tribal chief. Yeah, yeah. you're damn right. Tribal chief. Tribal chief. Tribal chief. So, when you took on uh, Cena, you know, John Cena. Oh, yeah. He, Michael, he was the first Hollywooder to come back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Michael Cole was bopping his meat every night to John Cena. Uh-huh. Every night. Oh, the goat is back. The goat is the greatest of all time. He's been. I used to have beers with John Cena. That whole thing. Michael Big Cole. dick rider that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey. Us. Well, a lot of people say that uh, about me because the next part of the question was. Oh, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I had to get through it. <laughs> so I, at that moment, started looking around. Michael Cole is calling John Cena the goat. I started checking out his resume and everything, and obviously he was fantastic and worked for a long time and showed up. John Cena is obviously on the Mount Rushmore in everybody's mind. But there's no reason not to call you the GOAT. And I literally, as I did my research, I started looking. I'm like in the hardest time in the history of professional wrestling when there was no fans. No fans. Who was carrying it? John Cena. Roman Get that guy Reigns. out of here. Get this guy the moron that said that, get that guy out of here ASAP. And then when we got back into arenas and people didn't know what it was going to be like, sell out, sell out, sell out, sell out, sell out, sell out. Ratings through the roof. Billions of dollars coming into the WWE. Why? He's the needle mover. Roman Reigns. So I've said that you're the GOAT for these reasons, in these reasons alone. And I assume that you felt that way for a long time, but you are the GOAT in a lot of people's eyes. How does it feel, and when did you realize that you were going to be in that conversation? I've always known it, you know what I mean? I've always, I've always been striving for it. I've always had, been, had this obsession for it. You know, I, I was born in 85, so you know, when you're growing up through the 90s and you have Michael Jordan, you just have this... There's just a men this mentality. It was different times back in the day. You know, I'm not trying to get all old school on everybody, but it was tougher. It was a tougher mentality than it is today. 
And that was just something that conditioned me to chase it and just want to be on a different level than everybody. And like Caitlin Clark. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, I mean, I, the, the, the tribal queen of Iowa. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, we, we like complete, that. Hey, completely unrelated. But yeah, 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 yeah. Of a different tribe, but. Um, <laughs> Caucasian tribe, if you will. Yeah, there you go. There yeah, you yeah, go. Got we got some of that, too, you know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, for me, I mean, yeah, I don't take anything away from anybody. What John's done is, yeah, it's on, as far as generations come, that's GOAT level stuff. But for me, it's always been about quality, not quantity. John has a lot of title reigns, but he, he doesn't have a title reign that can compare to what I've done in the past four years. So this quality that, um, you know, that I put on, on display, it speaks for itself. The business backs it. Everything that's happened, it, it's it's made this place more lucrative than it's ever been. It's made this place attractive for sale. You know what I mean? Like, I, my reign has gone through the most turbulent, crazy oh, time crazy. in WWE's history. And that crazy. says a lot. You know what I'm saying? So um, I will always take the quality of this run over, you know, going 14, 15, 16 times any day of the week. Ty's got a question for you. Yeah, I'm just curious. How, how do you uh, fend off the boredom? Because you already are the greatest of all time. Yeah, you know? and you that's know, a good question. You know going in every single time you step in the squared circle, like, this schmuck's got nothing. He's got nothing. Cody's got nothing. It doesn't matter who they line up. CM what? Punk oh, certainly okay. has nothing. Okay. Oh, yeah, God. exactly. Bingo. Exactly. Oh. I like Phil. So how do, how do you stay focused? How do Ains? you keep that edge when you already are the greatest of all time? I'm living my dream, man. Like, that... It's, this is what I wanted my whole life. So I'm not one of them people that once I got there, it just wasn't what I expected. I'm not like CM Punk, where I got right. to the top of the mountain. It's like, oh, it's not what I expect, so I'm a bitch about it. No. <laughs> hey, once you reach your goals, <laughs> enjoy the dream. This is what you've been working for, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So for me, I don't want to go no. I don't, I don't want this to ever end. I don't want this dream to end. I don't ever want to wake up, so I do everything that I have to do to stay and maintain this position. And, you know, it's a lot of work, you know. I, I'm very private about my my me time, my family time, so you don't get a you know you don't get that backstage look at everything I'm doing. But no, I'm constantly working. I'm always prepping. Hey, body looks good. I'm always, yeah. you yeah. already know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all lucky it's cold out here. You, I mean, we're ready. That's the thing is like, I'm just obsessed with continuing to progress. You know what I mean? So I know there's another level. I know there's some more that I can do. So I don't like to get satisfied or comfortable with the you know the current level that I'm on. Okay, so everybody that is the, uh, you know, the, the projectors of what wrestling is going to be in a few months, they know how it's going to go. They know exact, which makes no sense because who knows who's going to show up on what night. Exactly. The only thing we've known for the last four years is every time this guy shows up, he wins. Mm. He's the only one that we know that about. Everybody else, you have no clue. But it sounds like you're a guy who doesn't see the end of your, like, wrestling career run, like, we're in the middle of our prime right now we're talking about right now is the way you feel oh yeah yeah, yeah. i'm just scratching the surface i'm still i'm still like figuring i'm still experimenting we're still figuring stuff out there's so much room okay. left. okay oh, okay i'm, I'm 38 Thank years you. young hey. i'm a young man i got so much stuff to do left you know what i mean there's so many de if, if we were able to do this in four years imagine what we can conquer in another decade you know what i mean I, like i said the work's being put in my skin still looks good. I using look Papa Tui? You know what I mean? I'm sure there's a lot of 25-year-olds in here that I look younger than. So, yeah, you know. It, it, you know Us whites. Constantly yeah. putting in. The yeah. Thing. You know how I, I said I got half of that. I'm yeah, but top, you got you know your know skin mean? seems to be not from we our side. We got the good side, too. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, but, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't, I don't see it stopping anytime. I, I, you just said it. Like, we're about to set more records, uh, WrestleMania weekend with the main events. We're chasing, you know, landmarks and, and different history marks as far as the title reigns. So there's so much history left to make. I don't see it ever ending. Hell yeah. Hey, we love that. Connor's got a question for you, Roman. Yeah, Tribal Chief. Obviously, you know, throughout those My years, Tribal Chief. My Tribal That's Chief, right. excuse me. Can I say our? Or is it just yeah, is it our? It's true. It's our, cool. my, at, what would you prefer? Our is probably better, but at least mine. Okay, our and my tribal chief. I was um, just real quick though. People from the south, like I'm from Pittsburgh, so I'll say like my mom told said this or my dad. Yes. In the south, they go, mom said, dad said. They don't do the my in front of yeah. it. Yeah. So thank you for clearing up that whenever we say yeah. tribal chief, we have to say my or our. We have to designate whose tribal chief you are. Well, you know, it's first person. It feels. 
personal. It, it feels respectful to me. So I just, you know, when you, yeah. when you get the opportunity, yes. you know what I'm saying? I, Take I advantage. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a King James situation. Sure. You know what I mean? Like you say King, same way I'd say, hey, tribal chief. But again, preference. Our tribal chief, my tribal chief. He always stands um, for his tribal chief. Always, no matter what. And, and, you know, the wise man could also attest to that. But, you know, throughout those four years, two guys have, have been with you here and there, Jimmy and Jay. You know, and obviously right now they're going through their beef. Is, is, it, is it hard because it is, you know, blood for you to? No yeet. No yeet. Okay. No, no yeet. It is, it is catching. Right? I do, my cramp, cramp. I'm so impressed. Look at what, those abs, though. I'm talking about taking <laughs> shirts on, off, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Please. They, never. My tribal chief, never apologize. Okay, never. Um, but is it hard for you not He's to good. think about, you know, your other family going at it, you know, one-on-one -on -one against each other? Or is that just separate business you're not even, you're not even worried about? It's not even on your mind. Oh, I'm rooting for Big Jim. Hell He's yeah. my only family. They're calling him wow. jealous, Jim. Jay, Jay made his choice. Excommunicado. You know, how do you how do you walk away from the dream? How do you walk away from the promised land? You know, it's disrespectful. I agree. He, he, he'll tell you his life hadn't been the same since. So, if you can't play your role, if you can't just fill the shoes that you've been provided, then we gotta excommunicate. We gotta see if you you know. Sink or swim. Man, he's doing okay, but just remember, it, it, it only takes just like that. We send the word and it's done. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 My tribal whoa. chief. Whoa. Okay. My tribal chief, that was a pretty heavy, heavy yeah. statement there. Damn. I would never kill my cousin. <laughs> okay. But I would put his career on hold if I want to. You understand? Woo. We got the juice. Okay, so let's talk about, yep, sorry. Yep. Amen, tribal chief, snaps, but... my tribal chief. Uh, speaking of cousins, big one, bald one. Got a big family, yeah. Yeah, I saw the tree, I saw the tree. Beautiful The tree. first picture I saw of the tree was of this, uh, you know, Attitude Era icon, who is somehow in better shape now, seemingly, than he was then. It that's was, what I'm saying. That's what we do. That's our genetics. I, it was yeah. no disrespect, 25-year-olds, but it's just on my side. We're getting better with age. Yeah, and he is more jocked, I think, than we've ever that's seen. Good. There's uh -huh. some photos hitting the internet back when the, there was an era after WWE. Yeah, when, when he, he had, had hair. hair. When he had hair and he, yeah. he oh. looked like real. Hollywood told him. He leaned up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Lean, uh -huh. lean yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, super lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Pebble. Is this guy okay? Was, you know, they were saying that. But now he is obviously the most sure. famous person on earth, one of the greatest business people ever. He's on the board. He's the final boss. But I've been noticing. I don't know if you've seen this. I don't know if you've seen this. Because with how focused you are, you know, when oh, you're yeah. setting a tone like this. His thumb has a mind of its own. Have you seen that? His thumb just like, I don't know if it's lazy. I would never say The Rock's lazy. We are. No. no. We are big fans of The Rock. See him in the Iron Paradise. He is the hardest worker in the room. But it feels like his thumb might be lazy. Because he'll do this one. And then this thing goes like that. Whoa. You see that? And on the screen, he can't see it as much because of how, oh, yeah, you can. He's <laughs> doing that right there. Have you guys talked about what the formal acknowledgement is and uh there's a sign right here right behind you watch out roman the rock is coming for you oh. why does everybody want you two to be at odds with each other when we saw the familia we saw the if you smell what the bloodline is cooking why does everybody want you two to go after each other you think because i think it's two of the greatest superstars to ever do it you know and we have one who's currently dominating hollywood the other currently dominating w dominating wwe why wouldn't you want to put that match together? Why, that, that's mm. what I'm saying. That's, I mean, that's the big gripe with Cody. He's a crybaby. Wah. And then his fans reflect. Oh, wah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. Hey, 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 hey. We've given that bum plenty of yep. time. Yeah, We've right. given that chump plenty of time to, to do his thing. And Fuck let's be story. honest. This could be on if, Raw. If, I hope you're happy. If, you're not going to be here. I'm going to be here. The guys my age, the, you know what I mean? That small minority of our WWE wrestling fan base weren't a bunch of bitches crying the whole time. He would have never got that buzz and y'all would have been just smitten with The Rock versus the Tribal Chief. Let's be honest, that's what it was. But that's the beauty of this business is things can happen on the drop of a dime and you have to be able to, you know, either call an audible or ride that wave that's coming at you. But for me, that that was the end game. Let me, let me go ahead and just 
make the final statement. Put, put the, the stamp of approval, seal the deal. I beat the rock. Ain't nobody ever questioning what I've done here. And Cody took that from me. He's, and, and that's the thing. We're, he's got to pay for it. We're that. such a close Amen. family, you know what I mean? We handle things the right way. We, it, and fortunately, we have the ring to be able to settle our differences. And, and, and Jay and Jimmy, they know that, and they're doing that. But that's the thing. He took that from me. He took that, that storybook ending because imagine somebody who just pops up out of nowhere, and they're talking about, this is my story. This is my, you, you ain't even been here half the time. Well, you, you just got here. You, you literally just got here two years ago. Sounds like Kick him to the curb. sounds like Cody potentially ruined a moment for all of us. Yeah, yeah. Not just you. That's what I'm saying. The whole universe. Me. It, 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 it's, it's, this is the thing. Our society is a bunch of sheep, right? You tell them, you, you can Jedi them, and then they're like, oh, Cody's the good guy. Look, he signs autographs. He doesn't. That guy's a politician. Oh, whoa. Come on. Man. Whoa. Like Joe Biden. Come on. Whoa. You see the, you see He's not real like our tribal chief. That's what I'm no. saying. He's been up here in a three piece suit. We're on the. Come on. What? This is the yeah. Pat McAfee live show. Yeah! Oh, man. We, we exactly. come in all black. We come cast. Hey. I think our materials are about the same. Yeah. yeah. You're, hey, yeah. you look. Hey, you do look strapped. You walked, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all got to wait till till the 6th and the 7th to see all that, but oh, we're from putting that work in. Hey, we're feeling mania body, oh, mania we're in. shape. We're in, yeah, 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 we're ready. Well, you got two matches. Hey, this is the biggest one of all time, right? So I had to come correct. You know why it's the biggest one of all time? Because I'm double main event, and that's Bingo, yeah. <laughs> bingo, put it on. Amen. Tone Diggs has a question for you, Tri yeah. my tribal chief. My R, sir, tribal chief. Um, He's making a mockery out of it right in front of your yeah. face. What was the no, sir about? The sir, I believe that you should be knighted. That's my father. No, I, I feel like you should be knighted. If you were to go to England, I feel like you should be knighted. By well, the, the whole royal situation right now, I yeah, don't know if yeah, we need our tribal you chief. You don't want to be knighted. At some can we, can we do at it some like point an American extension or something? Yeah, like Thank you, John. Thank you. First That's royalty. Connor mentioned uh, Sir Paul Heyman earlier, okay? Yeah, wise man. Yeah, the wise man. And I saw a tweet earlier this year that said that the only person that can induct or introduce Paul Heyman to the Hall of Fame is Paul Heyman. Do you agree with that? Because the way that he speaks with, with like, Pat's up there. No, no, no. Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is the speaker of all speakers. The introer of all intros. Bingo. Right. The wise man. So, oh, what do you ask? Do you, do you feel? Do you agree with that tweet that Paul Heyman is the only one that can introduce Paul Heyman into the Hall of Fame? Well, that sounds like double pay to me. If we're gonna make <laughs> Paul work twice, <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? We got thing in the business side here, so I'll speak for the wise man. I'll say we'll take a double pay for the wise <laughs> yeah. man if that's what y'all want to do. But I think whoever does it, they need, just need to be authentic. They just need to tell their story of Paul. Um, there's going to be a lot of facts and a lot of history that you can lay down with with the wise man. I mean, all the way from you know his beginnings with yeah. the giant phone to being the advocate to to you know to being being my special counsel. I think whoever does it just needs to be themselves and just tell the truth because Paul, he's an incredible man. He he's an unbelievable man, and um, what he's done in this business, and then I also think what he's done in his personal life, I know well because I work with him and I'm f good friends with him. Um, I just have the utmost respect for him. I really do. And I, nobody deserves a Hall of Fame induction uh, more than him. Out of bait, Paul. Yeah. Hope you hear it. That boy, wise man. For, for the wise man. For, for the, the wise man. man. For the wise man. Yes, for the tribal. wise man. Yes, Put him up. Put he's, these things up. He was breaking into promotions as a teenager, acting like he's a photographer and a reporter and lying about his age and sitting in writer's rooms with oh, yeah. the American dream. Like, he has impacted the wrestling business throughout his entire being and has never even thought about going elsewhere oh. and is always willing to help. You know, obviously, big part of the bloodline. Whenever I was having my run with Austin Theory, who I beat. Yeah, that that's pretty yeah, convincingly. Bomb. That guy sucks at wrestling. It's a, it's a fact. Put yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a fact. There was a night, though, where I was going to, you know, maybe answer Austin Theory. He was going to ask me to apologize or something like that. And Wise Man heard me potentially in the corner thinking about how I was going to do it. And then he just like literally stops me and says like three lines. He's like, you're sorry that his mom made a bitch, right? You're sorry that he is insufferable, right? You're sorry that he is the worst human being, right? And I go, uh, I am sorry about all those things. And he goes, precisely. And then he just walked <laughs> away. And then I go out there, take all his shit. And then the internet's like, 
Pat's one of the best promos in the game. <laughs> Damn, it's, that boy could tell. That guy's good. Right. And Damn, it was that like, boy's good. It was like, I, and I told Paul, I was like, I'm going on my show tomorrow, and I'm saying that you're the one that told me that because I don't want to get your pop. And he goes, no, no, no. At some point later, well, I want to let you know, today's the day, Paul. We all appreciate the hell out of you. Congrats going into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Congrats, wise man. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, and like I said. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. And that's why, you know, in, in my opinion, whoever does it, they just need to tell the truth because it, this is a weird word to use or a weird phrase, but Paul is like a po performance enhancer. He, he really is. Yes. He, yeah. Paul's a PED, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> he just makes you feel more comfortable. He knows what it's like to be in the marquee. He's, he just, he's worked around it and in it his whole life, it seems like. Um, so he just knows how to say those little things. It's like when a director, you know, you're about to go into this huge monologue and you're trying to lock in and he just he hits you with a couple things to, to put the skin on, you know, to where you can feel the true emotions of that moment and be authentic. He does that every time. And it sounds like he, he did it with you. Yeah, I've, I've only I'm had to have a talk about, you know, sharing that wisdom. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying? We, got, we got to be judicious with the wisdom, <laughs> wise man, you know. Uh, with that being said, uh, you had uh, Sami Zayn as the uh, first Honorary use? Yeah, yeah. I was disgusted. I thought I had earned the title. <laughs> this bloodline, how do you get in? Is there a way to get in? Well, I tell you, you ain't gonna get in by doing Jay's stuff, that's for sure. Well, what a <laughs> yeet, well, yeet, to be fair. Yeet. You keep those arms still in his entrance. It's man. hard, it's hard. I don't know if you hear I see just he's, got me go. yeah, he, he's got him going, man. And and hey, who saw it first of him? Who was the first one? Who who who's the one that took a chance on Jay? Rikishi. <laughs> But uh, our it. tribe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Oh, okay. I put the equity in him. I, I, I'm the one that took from my account and deposited into his account. That's what that's what 2020 was all about: is building the bloodline, but also putting equity in my family, the people I love. Why? I can't. Why do people not like you? What's that all about? Because well, you're too good. Because hey, hey, you're too hey, good. Hey. I, I'm gonna give you my simple truth, but people can be stupid. You know what I mean? Like let them do what they want. It's fine. It's worked out great. We're not complaining at all. The checks are crazy and they keep coming <laughs> in. You know what I'm saying? So we'll keep just doing what we do and we don't care what they think because it's the truth. I put my family on my back. I put this company on my back. And why not, you know what I mean, share the spotlight? Why not make everybody better? And that's, I mean, these four years, a testament to it. We, truth. We, we're the greatest. Truth. We're yep. the best. That's we're the right. Best. That's right. You are, Reverend. Carter's got one last question. I think it's about. Those two are actually in WWE 2K24. Don't know how big of a gamer you are. I'm not great, but I will certainly be making sure that these two are uh, potentially winning the Undisputed Universal uh, titles because that's what they want. They want to beat you in a video game. Those two right there. Yeah, right? My, my tribal chief, just to be completely clear. He has said this. I, want, he's, I don't know what he's going to say to your face, but he said he can't wait to take his character in WWE 2K24 and run all over the bloodline. That's what that guy said this right guy, there. My guy. tribal chief, first of all, it's virtual. It is not It is not real life. If this was real life, I would never, ever challenge the tribal chief, my tribal chief, our tribal chief. Okay, let me just lay that out right there. But with that being said, when you do see people, fools like ourselves, perhaps, in the video game, you know, giving it to you because no one else can give it to you in the WWE, obviously, like we've addressed, does that kind of rub you the wrong way? Does it piss you off? Because there is a chance, and again, only virtual, this is all out of respect, you will always be my tribal chief. There is a chance, however, that down the road, Ty and myself as a tag team possibly take on you and The Rock, and there's a chance that we make the difficulty as easy as it can be, and we beat you guys. Now, beat the dog shit out of you guys. Yeah, yeah, like mud stomps, the whole nine. Table, times. right? The table, table. Yeah, ladders. Yeah, we got the T2, talks to table slam, um, and, and a couple other things. But w when you see that, is that is that okay? Like, because I want to ask you before, am I allowed to take the championship from my tribal chief in a virtual setting? Did mm. did you pay for the game? Yes, I did. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, okay. You buy that game, you do whatever you want on that okay. game. Okay. All right. All right. That's great news. Yeah. Thank you, Travel Chief. Thank, Thank you, my Travel Chief. Thank you. Chief. Thank you. I buy do. the game. You know, <laughs> <laughs> buy the game. I do wonder if uh, you had a chat with them and said like, game, not game. These shoulders never. Yeah, I okay. don't. Glitch in the game. Oh, Roman at two. 
Yeah. That's yeah. the glitch. Right. As long as there's still that like five to ten percent difference where you can tell like, oh, it's not real, real. It's oh man, it's that's super close to being like perfectly realistic. Yes. But as long as there's like, oh, but no, it's not. So it's not. Re- you know what I mean? Boy, as long well, as we can distinguish the difference. Well, they're pitting like, you. So a couple yeah, yeah. years. All right. We are not going to be able to do this. Okay. Our fair. Our tribal chief. We would like to say thank you so much for taking time to come here. <laughs> Iowa, thank you. We got fingers to the sky. Acknowledge this man. Acknowledge our tribal chief. We got fingers to the sky for good. Thank you, Roman. You hear that? Thank you, Roman. Thank you, Roman. True. They're thankful. Very true. Yeah, true. True. Iowa. Um, They're not the only ones that are thankful. Us WWE fans are thankful for what you've done for the business over the last four years. Oh, yeah. And. What you've done with this, to the places you've taken the entire company to, it's good for all of us, myself included. I'm benefiting from it. So are the boys who are in 2K. You're the man. Thank you for coming. And good luck tonight. You're going face to face with Cody Rhodes. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm going to probably do exactly what I did here and just direct it all towards him and slaughter him. So what are we doing? We're staring at each other at night? Do you work on a stare down too? Or is that just a natural... He's gonna feel you whenever they're face to face tonight. Is that where you? That's where you're trying to beat me? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that's Boom. fake. Yeah, it's Boom. fake. Yeah, it's fake. But that's happening it's tonight. Very close. Like I said, in a couple of years, we won't be able to tell the difference, so we're gonna have to watch that. But, I won't do it then. Uh, yeah, we're gonna head up there and we're gonna get to work, man. It never stops. You gonna smack him in the mouth? I'm not much of a slapper, to be honest. I, you know what I mean? I, if, we're just gonna go ahead and cock that thing. Close him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, not too much now. <laughs> Oh, oh, couple cocks. <laughs> Cock <in> that thing. <laughs> oh, this is a meme, for oh, sure. Yeah. This is Superman. We're all over the internet. Yeah, yeah, this is Superman. Yep. He's still going, He's guys. Superman. Yeah. He's Superman. Yeah. Super cock on the punch. My, yeah, my people are telling me to leave this this shot right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we appreciate you. Yeah. We're getting that jacked up. Oh, wise man oh, said to oh. leave. Like a super soaker. Maybe one of those tonight. Maybe a lot of this. The, the stamina on that man. Yeah. Jesus. PED has yeah. gone wise. Here we go. Yeah, we're ready. You're the best. Ladies and gentlemen, our tribal chief, the GOAT, Roman Reigns. Acknowledge him on the way out, please. Acknowledge him on the way out, please. Acknowledge him. Hey, you're the man. You are the man. Look how handsome. I know. Legend. His hair is unbelievable. Perfectly. Fantastic. He said I didn't even do it today. No, I just woke up like that.